Hi, my name is Nicole Rodriguez and I'm the Respiratory Manager with SuperCare Health. And today we're going to talk about oxygen therapy and your needs for oxygen therapy. First, let's talk about why you may have been ordered oxygen therapy from your doctor. There are a variety of different diagnoses that would cause a patient to have low oxygen levels. For example, chronic obstructive pulmonary disorder is a common issue, congestive heart failure, and chronic bronchitis to name a few. Some of the symptoms associated with low oxygen levels are shortness of breath, cyanosis, wheezing, persistent cough, and excessive sputum. By prescribing oxygen therapy, your doctor is hoping to increase the level of oxygen within your bloodstream. In doing so, it will help reduce some of the symptoms we discussed earlier, as well as improve your quality of life. The way that an oxygen concentrator like this works is that it pulls air in from the room, which is composed of 21% oxygen. Once it's inside of the machine, it then sifts out all of the other molecules and reduces it down to pure oxygen, 90 to 95%. That oxygen is then distributed through this tubing to you via a nasal cannula. We mentioned that oxygen is delivered through a nasal cannula like this. We often see that patients struggle with putting this on appropriately, so let's show you how to put this on the right way. Keep in mind that nasal cannulas come in different sizes, 3 feet, 7 feet, and 10 feet. First, you're going to take your nasal cannula out of the package, and you're going to take the prongs, and you want to make sure that these are pointed in the proper direction. You don't want them curved under like this, you want them pointed up and out towards you like this. The first thing, you're going to put these in your nostrils. Next, you're going to wrap this up around each side of your ear. And below, with the fastener, you're going to tighten this up underneath your chin. You want it secure, but not too tight where it's uncomfortable. This will keep the cannula in place and ensure that you're getting proper oxygen. One of the common issues with oxygen therapy is dryness or irritation in your nose due to the nasal prongs from the cannula. We can fix this by two methods. First, you can utilize a humidification system in conjunction with your oxygen concentrator. Keep in mind that this requires a prescription from your doctor, so make sure to reach out to them for that prescription so that we can provide this for you. Basically, the humidification system utilizes water and provides oxygen and humidification so that your nose does not dry out. Second, we can utilize some sort of lubricant or saline spray in regards to irritation in your nose. Just keep in mind that oxygen is flammable, so you don't want to use any petroleum-based products like Vaseline. Thank you for your time. Make sure to look at your patient handbook for additional information or resources. Also, you can visit us at www.supercarehealth.com or give us a call anytime. Thanks again.